The new work that I'm doing is it's collage based, but it, it, it's um, basically uh, created with handmade paper and, and mostly found materials. And the thing that's really interesting about it to me is that it kind of, in a lot of ways, takes me back to my roots when I had to learn how to create something out of nothing. And I think it's really cool to be able to take a stack of magazines and some, you know, glue sticks and a piece of you know cardboard and create something magical out of it. And the, you know, my favorite thing about it is whenever I work with young people and I you know show them you know a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, and some glue and some you know newspaper, and they're like. What are we gonna do with that? And you know, and then you know, I'll sit there for 20 minutes, and I'll do a little sketch, and then I'll show them a little trick on how they can, you know, manipulate the materials into something great. And you watch their eyes light up, and then all of a sudden, you know, you see them teaching, you know, the, the kid that came in five minutes late, and it's like, wow, you know, like, you know, I learned how to do this, and now I can do it on my own, or I can show my little sister when I get home, and that stuff is really rewarding for me, and so. When I'm making work now, I'm always thinking about you know, how I can squeeze an instant lesson out of that to show somebody else because, you know, let's face it, if you've been around long enough and you've seen all these amazing things and you've learned from you know, all these great people, whether they were you know, the old you know, pop masters of the 60s or you know, graffiti masters of the 80s, if I can take that information and translate it and explain it to a five-year-old kid or a ten-year-old kid and then they can explain it to somebody else, that's what it's all about, just kind of passing the information along. Um, in addition to doing design, uh, I am also an artist, and so one of the things that I, I do is I, I make paintings. And you know, over the years, my work has taken on all kinds of different forms. But what I'm doing right now is a lot of paintings that are based on letter forms that kind of remind me of when I first got started as a, a kid writing graffiti. And so. The collages that we're going to make today are loosely based on graffiti letter forms. And so what I did when you guys, uh, before you got here, was I took all these panels and I kind of reconfigured them to almost, um, you know, sort of mimic uh, traditional graffiti letter forms. And then I kind of stripped away parts. What we're going to do is uh, we have like three different piles of torn paper and I wanted to incorporate the colors of the Canadian flag because you know we're in Canada and I thought it'd be kind of cool to see what people did working with just three colors and how they interact with each other. It's, it's not about me being better than anybody else, it's about me saying hey I learned this, somebody showed me this and now I'm going to show you and it makes me feel great because like I said when I was a kid, that sort of outlet wasn't there before. You know, I, that stuff didn't start to happen for me until I was, you know, like deep into my 20s. Mm -hmm. So for me to be able to catch them early is a great thing. And so all the work that I do now kind of ties back into that. And is that going to be the workshop that you do here? Yeah, yeah, that's the idea is that we're going to do, you know, collage based work, yeah, but right. uh, yeah, everything I do has a, a hip hop sensibility to it. So I always think about how I can tie it back into the music and the dance and the visual art. Oh, I guess I'll just ask this last question and um, advice for emerging artists. You know what? The thing that I've learned is uh, a couple of things. One, as crazy as it sounds, that they have to take advantage of being young. You know, don't rush to get old. Be in the moment. And really just try to embrace technology because there's so many great avenues and ways to express yourself and get your message out there without having to leave your house. And so when I, I, I meet young people, I just tell them, look, do a couple of things. Just keep making work and just keep getting it out there and don't worry about you know how you get it in front of people just you know post it online show people because the more you do that the more you'll get your message out there and people will start to learn who you are and you'll start to create an identity for yourself and you know hopefully good things will happen <laughs>